Hello, welcome. Please take a moment, read the problem, and then press play and we'll solve it together. So in this problem, we're just comparing credit cards. And the idea is that if you have choices on with your credit, you know how to figure out what the best choice would be for you. So let's do a simple case. Uh, we have one credit card, say credit card A. It has no annual fee, yay. And it gives 2.5% cash back, it's a good deal. But credit card B, they have an annual fee of $100, dope but it gives 5% cash back. So the question would be, which card is better for you? And then the way you'd figure this out, one way at least, is to figure out how much would you need to spend in order for credit card B to be the better choice. And if you know you're going to spend that much, then it is a better card for you. So we have essentially credit card A. Let's change colors here. Credit card A. There's no annual fee, so essentially all the profit you're going to get is 0.025 times the money you spend. But our equation for profit for credit card B is a higher percentage, so eventually you'll gain more, but how much, right? How much you have to spend in order to do that? Because you do lose $100 at the beginning. And we want to find what? We want to find when B is better than A. So the way I'm going to do this is say, well, at some point, there's some amount of money I could spend that makes both credit cards equally profitable, equally profitable. So I'll make the equations equal to each other. But beyond that, I know that B is going to have a better, be better <laughs> over that amount that I spend because it has essentially a steeper slope or from a different perspective, a higher percentage of cash back. It's like our slope in a linear equation, right? So eventually the slope of this line will overtake this one. And uh, essentially, in my, pick, in, in my head, I'm thinking, all right, here's a little graph. We have one that's such a 0.025x. So it's kind of like this, let's say, really flat line. This is our profit margin, our profit for the money we spend, x. But b kind of starts lower. Remember that the linear equation is to be our y-intercept. I mean, it starts down here, and then it comes up. Eventually, it's a steeper slope. It's going to cross. All right, so it starts down at negative 100. We're finding where they're equal to each other. That's this point right here. After that amount, the more we spend, the better B is because you get the higher percentage back. So I'm thinking of linear equations. And we're solving for x. The way I'm going to do that is get my x's to one side. So let's subtract 0.05. OK. And I get 0.025 minus 0.05. I'm blinking out. Let me just plug that in. And that's negative 0.025. And we have negative 0.025. I should have that. X equals negative 100. And then we divide both sides by negative 0.025. Negative 0.025. And that means that X uh, would be equal to, it's going to be a positive result, 100 divided by 0.025. Five, four thousand dollars. Okay, so at four thousand dollars, they're be equal. So any amount over four thousand dollars, right? That means credit card B will be more profitable. So I wouldn't pick credit card B unless I know for sure I'm spending more than four thousand dollars. 